Welcome back to DXB today. I hope you're enjoying the show thus far. Uh, looking to give you a little bit of advice on workplace wellness. And to that end, our next guest is dedicated to healing past wounds, helping individuals gain deeper self-awareness and, of course, pave the way uh, for their future goals. Strong advocate for self-acceptance. Please welcome mm -hmm. uh, to DXB today, uh, Amna Raisi. Amna nodding away there Thank as well you. quite Thank right you. great to have you with us as well you said self -acceptance. i know and i i, I got re your reaction to that is yes. that is that key is it yeah 100 percent. i think um as nazia very eloquently said um physical health is something that we've we've constantly kind of put uh, on a on a on a mm. shelf right on a pedestal thank you um uh, English is not my first <laughs> language, so <laughs> I'm translating everything. Um, so yeah, we've put it on a pedestal and then obviously being in a, in a city like Dubai, right, where image is very important. Mm. So, uh, you know, we want the six pack abs and we want the best gym membership and we want all of that. And then unfortunately, somehow, somewhere, mental health kind of disappeared. Mm. Uh, or the importance of mental health disappeared because we're, as Nazia, N Nazia said, um, we're all in the rat race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all living, thinking of 10 years ahead. Yeah. Uh, we've forgotten how to kind of stop, breathe, think of today, think of the present moment. Um, the present moment is something that is, I think, underestimated. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not given enough importance and then look what's happening to us now. Mm -hmm. um, so what I do, on a day-to-day -day basis is really, really simply to, you know, whether you're a CEO or a young mother or, a, or just someone to, that's looking to be a better version of themselves or be more of themselves. This is what I do day in and day out. Uh, I, don't, I don't like using the word heal because it's overused yeah. nowadays. Okay, right, <laughs> except. I think, yeah, I, th I think it's just creating a safe space for people where they relearn how to spread their wings. Right. You know, if it's for young mothers who've lost their confidence and their self-esteem, it's to it's for them to be able to look in the mirror again and love themselves again and learn that self-love is not selfish. Um, Amna, I wanted yeah. to ask you, how important is it to deal with traumas? I mean, mm. because a lot of the times it is, myself included, very uncomfortable to visit mm -hmm. certain yeah. uh, memories from the past. And it takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of time and effort yeah. to dive into it head 100%. straight. Because yeah. a lot of the times I feel like we polish a cracked vase and call it a flower arrangement. Quick fixes, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, well, look, you said you said a couple of words here, right? You said it's uncomfortable. And you said it's difficult, mm -hmm. but what we're doing now is also uncomfortable and difficult. You know, uh, losing, uh, being stressed all the time is uncomfortable. Uh, eating the wrong foods is uncomfortable. Gaining weight or not being able to look at yourself in the mirror is uncomfortable. So it's, you choose your hard. So if you're gonna invest time in something, why not invest it in yourself? Make yourself uncomfortable for the now, and then choose short-term discomfort over long-term dysfunction. Right, so if we choose now, if I choose me now, then I won't need a wheelchair when I'm 70. I'm, I'm not gonna, uh, hopefully, not gonna depend on someone to take care of me. I know how to take care of myself. And in that way, I will also be leading generations of kids who you know, are stuck to their screens and, and uh, with social media kind of affecting their mental health mm -hmm. and them wanting to be something that they're not and I want to be this and I want to have that much money and I want to have this car by this age. I feel like wants and needs have become switched mm -hmm. now. It's like I need the best car. I need to be CEO by the time I'm 35. I need this, I need that. And then wants is like I want rest. Yeah. I want fresh air. I want to go to a nature retreat or something. <coughs> Flip those wants and needs. Yeah. Understand that you do need connection with family. You do need connection with kids. You don't, do need connection with nature to be healthy. And then you will want the other things and it's okay to want, but just mm -hmm. flip your priorities. Nasir? Yes, I have a question. Of course. What are your views on intentional living? Because it starts mm -hmm. with mindset. Yeah. A lot of people don't know they're not self-sabotaging mm -hmm. until yeah. you point out actually the foods that you're eating, this, this is the impact it's having, positive and negative. And I think when the understanding is there and you're empowered with the knowledge, then you make the decisions. Yeah, but the, I think that's about intentional movement, intentional eating, intentional living. What yeah. are your views on that? So I'm going to connect what you said and what you said, right? 
why is it important for us to be more self-aware of our childhood traumas? Why is it more important? For, because it will lead us to something called intentional living, mm. right? So let's say we are now in fight or flight or in a reactive state, right? Um, this means that there is the situation and then there's the reaction and we're just looking at the situation, we react immediately. Yeah. The more we live intentionally, the more we understand where our triggers are, the more we take this path of, I want to understand why this has happened to me. Why is that important? Because then the time between situation and reaction increases, mm. right? So it takes us more time. We will observe ourselves rather than react. We will go into parasympathetic state instead of being in fight or flight all the time. Mm. And when you're in a parasympathetic state, that's the fun part. That's where the healing begins. Things like digestion, which is a main function in the yeah. body, is a 100% parasympathetic state. So if we're in sympathetic, which is fight or flight all the time, we won't even digest properly. We won't even regulate our blood sugar properly. And that's where kind of metabolic disorders, yeah. autoimmune diseases, and all of these things, you know, start turning up magically, right? I don't know why I got sick. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's because of this. And? <laughs> So how do we take all this information then, especially like when we're seeking like self-awareness and things and make it applicable in the workplace? How does it make us a better employer or employee? How yeah. does that work? If, from, if you allow me, Nazia, um, I think the first thing is you start to look at two things, the P and P, perspective and priorities. Your perspective of what success and wellness is needs to change your priorities need to start becoming my health, not I want to be a CEO the next, um, you know, when I'm 35. Mm. You know what or I mean? Or a better it's CEO. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. In your case, yes, mashallah, yeah. You know, so if you, if you look at these two, then everything else starts to fall in place, you know? Um, your perspective on wellness shouldn't be only I want the, you know, the six pack abs and the best gym membership. It's like, I want to grow old gracefully. You know, and once that becomes your goal, it's like, okay, I am going to work hard, but I'm going to bring the best of me to this work. When I bring the best of me, I'll become more productive, more efficient. So then I will automatically be better at what I'm doing. Mm. You know what I mean? It's oh, all yeah. about finding the balance. Amna, thank yeah. you so much for coming yeah. on the yeah. show. That thank is definitely you. some thank great you. advice that you've shared with us. Thank Please you. come back anytime. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks. <laughs>